हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू एसएसबी क्रैक एग्जाम्स मैं हूं अनुराधा और आज का सेशन थोड़ा सा डिफरेंट होने वाला है फ्रॉम दी अदर सेशंस क्योंकि आज के सेशन में हम लोग कुछ यूनिक चीजें डिस्कस करने वाले हैं एंड दीज things are going to be important if you're going for technical entries or direct entries in your upcoming ssb interview specifically if you are coming from the computer science branch or that you have done your engineering in computer engineering okay so uh, let us discuss the different kind of technical questions that can come that can be asked in your personal interview if you are a computer science student or if you are a computer engineer okay so before we start let me uh, ask let me also discuss with you that why this is important your technical questions kaise pucha jata hai kyu pucha jata hai you will know that all engineering streams have their syllabus built over basic concepts ssb mein jo question aapse pucha jayega which are will be obviously technical question they will be based on basic and conceptual things that you have learned in your graduation so why these are asked to check the knowledge level of the candidate in ssb so agar aap ek engineer ban ke ja rahe ho ssb mein ya aap technical field mein kaam karoge technical entries ke liye ja rahe ho as engineers get maximum chances okay to appear in ssb through direct entries like tgc ssc tech and candidates of specific streams of engineering are eligible you will be asked basic questions in the personal interview which will be related to your own stream so the interviewer will not ask very deep technical questions of coding or syntax errors but they would clarify whether you have the basic and conceptual knowledge or not so iske liye aapko jo basic knowledge hai wo clear rakhna hai aur aapko ready rakhna hai rehna hai khud for the explanation of those concepts sometimes the interviewing officer will also put some uh, problems or some common uh, you know mistakes that happen okay to check whether you have that expertise or knowledge or not so in that case what all matters is your knowledge and experience so aapko acche se sunna hai wo kya puch rahe hain and then respond to according to your knowledge and expertise okay so chaliye start karte hain about the questions that i'm going to discuss in today's session about the computer science background related okay so they can ask you what is dbms system i'm also going to give you the answers here so uh, you can also give your own answers in the comment box below so it is a combination of a database and a dbms software what is dml compiler it is a compiler that converts the dml statements into a low level language what are the ways of storing data in files it is a text format and binary format what are c and c++ so aap dekh sakte ho coding languages pe they can ask you question c is a high level programming language and c++ was developed from c both save similar syntax but the object oriented feature of c++ help the user in creating objects within the codes tell me the uses of c language c is used to make system softwares application softwares games compiler and other softwares what is bios bios stands for basic input output system it controls the most crucial and fundamental operations of the computer and is necessary for a system to start without bios the system won't communicate with its components what is cascade with respect to the windows it is an option in windows that organizes all the open windows in a visible and accessible manner you can see very basic questions are asked what is backward compatible it is a, if a software accepts and accesses the files from the older version of itself it is called backward compatible tell me the types of system software the types of system softwares are operating systems like windows linux unix drivers word processors and utility softwares what are tcp and ftp tcp ensures the easy and continuous exchange of bits between the systems while ftp is an added context to tcp mediated bit which makes one connection understand what the other connection is sending what is os os stands for an operating system which manages all the resources like hardware and software of computer and provide common service to the computer programs it can be defined as a software which helps in commun commutation between computer hardware and software for example windows linux unix etc 
What is the difference between IPv4 and IPv6? You see, very, very easy question. IPv4 and IPv6 stands for Internet Protocol version 4 and Internet Protocol version 6, respectively. IPv4 is a technology to link or connect the devices to the web, while IPv6 is the advanced or enhanced version of IPv4. The major difference between them is IPv4 uses 32-bit and IPv6 uses 128 bits for its internet addresses. What is NIC? Networks card interface, also known as Ethernet card, is a device which is used to connect a system to the networks. The next kind of question can be very easy ones, like tell me the names of logic gates. So you can say there are seven logic gates which are AND, OR, SOR, NOT, NAND, NOR, and XNOR. What is storage mapping and which program does it? Storage mapping is the mapping of the data files on the physical devices and it is done by the compute compiler. Tell me names of any 10 coding languages. Very easy again. C, Java, PHP, JavaScript, C++, Python, Shell, Ruby, Objective-C and C, Hash. Okay. The next is what is Trojan? Very, very important and very easy again. Trojan is a kind of malware that disguises a software of the computer which is made by cyber thieves to get the access to the system. What is the extension and tell me the extension of Excel 2007 files. Extension is the name at the end of the file that specifies the type of the file and helps in identifying it. The extension of Excel 2007 files is XLSX. What is the maximum number of rows supported by the Excel spreadsheet? I think many of you don't know, right? 65,536. You can check yourself. Tell me five internal components of CPU. Very, very easy one. And a bacho wala question hai ye bilkul. So the five internal components of CPU are motherboard, PCI bus, hard drive, CD or DVD drives and graphics card. What is ransomware? Ransomware is a type of malicious software from crypto virology that threatens to publish the victim's data or perpetually block access to it unless a ransom is paid. So you could see so easy questions have been asked if you are a person coming from computer science background or have done your engineering in computer science. So make sure you are preparing these kinds of basics and conceptual questions for your upcoming uh, you know in SSB interview where technical questions if you're going for direct or technical entry technical questions like these will be definitely asked. So for more preparation tips like this for your upcoming SSB make sure you're joining our upcoming SSB interview live classes which is starting from 2nd of October for the October batch and you're joining our SSB interview online course. For other written defense exams also, courses are available. So, what do you have to do? We have to download our code. And our code is used to use Warrior 10 while you are getting yourself enrolled. So, you get 10% discount easily. So, I hope that the session was quite informative for you. I will see you next with something more informative for your upcoming SSB interview and your entries. Till then, stay tuned with us and always stay positive and motivated. Jai! If you are a defense aspirant and a SSB interview, NDA, CDS, FCAT जैसे exams के लिए प्रिपेर कर रहे हैं तो आप SSB Crack exams के कोर्स को चेक करना ना भूलें आप हमारी लर्निंग एप्लीकेशन को Google Play Store से भी डाउनलोड कर सकते हैं